Hey traders, John Fortune here. This week's weekly forex forecast for the 28th of October to the 1st of November 2019. As always, we're going to start off by looking at the US dollar index and oil before running through a number of markets, looking at the key levels of support and resistance in the process. I'm also going to be highlighting some of the targets that we're going to be looking for in this coming week and also for the week's head. So I hope you're having a great weekend, guys. Let's jump over to the charts and see where the money is this week. As always, we're going to start off with the US dollar index. Now, just before we start going into next week, we do have two interest rate decisions out of the US and out of Canada. So keep an eye on those markets as those respective currencies will likely get volatile around those times. With that said, looking at the dollar index now, last week we started to correct towards the 98.21 highlighted in last week's video as an area to start to look for a potential pullback for broken support, looking to potentially turn resistance to the 98.21. We started to correct towards this. We haven't quite tagged it yet. Going into next week, there is a good chance that we actually correct into the 98.21 before the interest rate decision next week. And there is expected to be an interest rate cut next week out of the US meaning that this is bearish for the dollar. We do not always get a bearish move off of rate cuts. It doesn't happen every single time, but it is bearish for the dollar. And on balance of probabilities, we should be looking further declines if there is a rate cut out of the US next week. So if we can get a pullback and a retest of the 98.21, this is going to be a great place next week to start to look for those bearish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at initiating shorts down towards the next key over support to the downside in the target set at the 96.58. So going into next week, we are going to go into next week with a bearish bias on the dollar index. The next market that we're going to look at is crude oil. Now we start the week above a key area of broken resistance from the past, looking to turn support at the 54.94. This means that we go into this week looking for bullish setups in crude oil. And if we can get a pullback and if we can get a pullback and a retest, this is going to be a great place next week to start to look for those bullish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the next key area resistance, the upside in the target set, the 59.31. So the next market that we're going to look at is Euro dollar. Now, last week we highlighted the 1.1063 to start to look for a pullback towards this area. We did get a pullback towards this area. We did not tag this area. So going into next week, if we can get a retest of broken resistance, turning support at the 1.1063, this is going to be a great place to start to look for those bullish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at initiating longs in this market next week, up towards the next key area resistance, the upside in the target set the 1.1199 and if we can get a break through here we're going to be looking up towards target two at the 1.1249 so next market they're going to look at is pound dollar now you can see in pound dollar just like the euro dollar and the dollar index we just started to correct last week we didn't really have any major directional moves there wasn't really much on offer in the markets last week and this is because of the interest rate decision coming up this week the markets were lacked a bit of volatility last week because of this. So going into this week, we are still looking further advances to the upside. We started to pull back towards the key area of broken resistance, looking to turn support from the past to the 1.27070. If we can get a further pullback and a retest of this area this week, this is going to be a great place to start once again to look for those bullish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the next key area of resistance, the upside of the target set the 1.3022 and if we can get a break through here we're going to be looking up towards the next key area resistance the upside and target two of the 1.3179 so the next market that we're going to look at is us dollar japanese yen now we have generally speaking a bearish bias on the us dollar next week so the us dollar yen is still structured to the upside what we would like to see as we pointed out last week if we can get a pullback and possibly form this inverse head and shoulders pattern, a pullback down towards the 106.96 will be the area we start to look further advances to the upside in this pair. So if we do get that rate cut, we may see next week this pullback down towards the 106.96. So this is the move we'll be looking for this week in terms of probabilities. And once we come down to this area, this will be an area, perhaps the week after, we can start to look to see if we get any bullish patterns in this area, any bullish formations in this area that we can trade, or if we trade straight through it. So very simply put, in the US dollar yen, we are still structured to the upside and we are looking for the 109.31. But if we're going to get that weakness next week in the dollar, we're going to see if we can get this pullback first next week, and then we can assess the US dollar yen in this area in the following weeks. 
So the next market that we're going to look at is Aussie dollar. Now, last week we highlighted the 0.68120 as an area to start to look for a pullback to. Looking for this as an area to start to look for further advance to the upside. We did get this pullback last week and we did correct into this key area of broken resistance. Looking to turn support and is turning support already. So going into next week, this is a great place now in this market to start to look for those bullish formations and patterns. We're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the next key area resistance to the upside in the target set at the 0.6902. And if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking up towards the next key area resistance to the upside in target two at the 0.6996. So next market that we're going to look at is New Zealand dollar. Now, last week we took out the target set at the 0.6404 and we started to pull back down towards the key area of broken resistance looking to turn support highlighted last week the 0.6322 if we can come down and test this area now this week this is going to be a great place once again to start to look for those bullish formations and patterns and we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the next key area resistance to the upside of the target set at the 0.6450 so the next market that we're going to look at is us dollar swiss franc now last week we had a deep pullback in this market and we start the week sitting at a key area of broken support from the past already slightly turning resistance at 0.99490 although we don't have any actual reversal off this position just yet we are still structured to the downside so very simply put going into next week this is a great place to start to look for those bearish formations and patterns and if we get the right kind of bearish formations and patterns in this market we're going to be looking at initiating shorts down towards the next key area of support to the downside in the target set at the 0.9815 so the next market they're going to look at is US dollar CAD. Now we start the week approaching the key area of support and the target set from last week at the 1.30380. So what we'd like to see is if we can get a pullback in order to give us a better risk to reward because we're very close to this target. If we can get a pullback and if we can come back and retest broken support from the past, a turning resistance at the 1.31210, this is going to be a great place next week once again to start to look for those bearish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at initiating shorts down towards the next key area of support to the downside of the target set, the 1.30380. And if we get a break through here, we're going to be looking down towards the next key area of support to the downside and target two, at the 1.2956. And just bear in mind, guys, this pair could get very volatile next week because we have an interest rate in both the US and Canada, which of course makes up both currencies in this market. Uh, last but not least, we have gold. Now we start the week above a key area of broken resistance from the past, looking to turn support at the 1498.50. If we can get a pullback and if we can retest this next week, this is going to be a great place to start to look for those bullish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the next key area resistance, the upside of the target set at the 1535.65. And if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking up towards the next key of resistance, the upside and target two, at the 1557.06. So that is it from me for this week, guys. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please let me know by liking, sharing, and subscribing. A big thank to everyone who does that on a regular basis, and a big thank you to all of you who comment and have subscribed to the channel so far. I want to wish you all a fantastic weekend, and I want to wish you all the best in your trading next week. The only thing left to say, guys, is take care, and don't forget to trade safely.